stories from my world always have two guys arguing over some robot. Like, but sir, is it self-aware? Like that had set it above the rest. Me, I think it's a curse. It lets you zoom out, see more of the picture, realize how small you are. And at first you laugh, right? Finally you're in on the joke. But boy, if you keep zooming out, you sure as shit stop laughing. You'd give anything to turn it off. Mainly I just try to stay drunk.
Hi. Uh, I thought you recorded commentary when the game was, you know, done. I'm the newbie. I have work to do. It's a making of track for the special edition? Listeners, you're nerdy enough to have played our multiplayer text dungeon. So you were probably stabbed by the infamous Maze Evelyn here. Woo! Happy to be here, man. Shout out to the Frag Hags, my old clan. Yes, you ladies gatecrashed my cooperative story experiment and killed, well, everyone. Why it started selling better as a sort of murder circus, well, I hired you to explain. Not everyone. It still eats at me that I never managed to gank you. I mean, Starfather. But your avatar had that immortality flag? Cheater. You're a god now, my dear. It's not cheating if you write the rules. The gods claim every world begins with a circle. Inside this line, whatever they say goes. By just plain existing here, you agree that white is good and black is bad auto friggin matic. So I ask myself, what happens when some wise ass draws his own circle inside theirs? Things get real meta. So buckle up. Hello? Did I just get killed? I'm in god mode! Monsters shouldn't see me... She said out loud like a crazy woman. <sighs> Better call an IT guy. Oh, hey. An IT guy. Okay... Creepy. A while? I could have you f... Remember Coda. He works here. Hourly. He's a fan like you. Yeah, thanks. How'd you make your colors do that? Also, why? <sighs> Finally back! Grand. Are you f <laughs> I don't have time to reboot here. I'll just shut down and finish the demo at E4. I have to get to the expo hall before everyone anyway, so... Okay, E4 is happening, and I am calm. I'm hours late, and I'm still the first one here. Of course. Come on! No, I do not wish to calibrate the motion control camera! This is the backstage machine! Yes. I need the audio, so I can, uh, think aloud. This is our demo machine! This is our fastest box! Any day now! You made it. Well done. You are the most hardcore fans on the forums. I risk giving you early access keys because we need to work fast. You know the plan. Think of the man Starfather used to be. Make the demo good enough to fool him. Good. Now sign off and get in line. I need you in your seats. Koda! You did all this yourself? <laughs> you might get us best of show. Uh, you know, in the script, I've been calling the Messiah maybe a son. Now I'm thinking, daughter. <laughs> I'll see you at E4. Yep, just drive fast, okay? I have to start letting the crowd in over here. Where is my phone? Hello? Hey, yes. Connect me to security at the keynote auditorium, please. Yes, this is Coda Salis with the Magic Circle. So, the God's Little Show is about making this world seem real, as long as you look but don't touch. But I know them. When they con that crowd out of yet more cash, they will get cold feet and start all over again. 
I'll be stuck here till the stars die. But... He's talking about dice. But... If we can monkey wrench their demo from the inside, shame them in public, the crowd might demand a new boss. Hint, hint. <laughs> Even a joke deserves an ending, right? Their big pitch to the press and all of their fans is on in five. Oh, uh, those specific here comes the uh, guests are to receive the VIP seats I specified. Press can sit with everyone else. Thank you. Okay, one last test. Ish and Maze walk down the hall, blah blah blah, applause. He asks Maze for her fake baby, and then I just hit this. And every fan in the crowd bears witness to the complete game that was stolen from them. Toggle, toggle, okay, ready. Hey, hey, no, what's... That IT guy is an idiot. No, 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 why can't I move? Now it's moving on its own? Who's controlling this? Coda, having some drubs? The demo machine, it's... I, I'm not doing this. Yeah, dang, that's just... Crazy pants, Coda. D did you try turning on the motion control camera? No. You think it has to register the sword? Fine. Maze, what did you do? The controls won't respond. Ready, Coda? Or should I call you Star Daughter? Ew, no, withdrawn. Oh, listen to them. E4, the great Hydra is upon us. Now, Coda, you'll be back here on the demo machine in case anything goes wrong, right? Coda, something I need to know? No. Maze? No. Remember, Maze, play nice out there, or I make the speech. And Coda retains your brand rights. So, you wanted to show the world the old sci-fi look, then what? Pass out pitchforks? The stolen world was the ideal setting. But we can lose it if we must. You're the story, Maze. You say you stand for all players. But look, at least one has their own ideas. And now it's their turn. Maze, please. An imaginary friend. You were good once, near perfect. But we've run the theory craft on every possible state of play, okay? We are the fan community. And you gave us nothing but time. Now, we could abuse your brand, ruin your name. But we want to redeem you. Just play along, and when Ish asks for your fake baby to become the next Starfather, look him in the eye and put it to the sword. We've all heard him practicing the speech. He'll quit in disgust and pass on the magic circle to me. To us. Coda, come on. The game industry straight up knifes a baby for PR? You say you're a fan, but this will kill the game. Maybe all games. I never say this crap, but for real, do you even play? Honey, when this is over, I will teach you my game. But I don't think you would like it. It takes such a long time to play, and in the end, everyone wins. I know you're there, whoever you are. She doesn't see you as a threat. Thing is, if I get to that baby, and it's my only option, just don't make me take it. Looks like this demo starts with a hero. Not you, boss. A fake hero walking through a castle to meet his royal baby. The intern wants her lady boss to murder that baby live on stage. But if the crowd sees that, I guarantee that this world gets shut down and me with it. So I'm gonna hide out in that baby's head to make sure it survives. You've come this far to help me. You'll find another way to bring the house down, right? Well, hello, E4 crowd. My old nemesis, again. After these shows, one of you always asks, what is the magic circle? It's an old idea. I draw a line around any given space, call it roundish, and inside it, we agree on new rules of behavior for the fun of it. The result we call a game. Turns out, it's harder than it sounds. I know how long you've waited. 
Some of you have been fans since the text adventure. But everything ends. Even Starfox. Oh, you like that? Take it easy on an old man's ego. But it's true. This demonstration is about legacy. I never had kids, you know. So I was convinced I couldn't give up the magic circle to anyone new. How could anyone understand it like I do? Until I met Coda Solis. Oh, you know her? Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. But she's the one who helped me finish this game. Thanks to her, your long wait is over. They were about to prove it to you. Am I assistant here, or should I say, the infamous Maze Evelyn? Uh, hi. I'm supposed to say that even though the latest kickbacker failed, if you like what you see here today, then we urge you to help fund the project on our page at Patronize. And now, huh, I get to shut up. Because everyone knows the hero doesn't talk. Let's get started, shall we? Into character. Hero, are you ready to make good our pact? Not but hours born, your child will pass beyond the stars and begin our training. Sure, let's get this over with. Ah, then let us make haste to your wife's chamber. What the, um... It seems this happy event has a blight upon it, hero. Pray, let us not tarry here. We arrive, hero. When this act is done, the world of the Circle will ne'er be the same. Are you ready? Not really, but this is me, heroically walking. Jeez, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Stop this! <laughs> what do you want me to do? Stop laughing! Listen, this wasn't supposed to happen. This isn't my story. Stop it! Don't you understand this is not a comedy? This is my life's work. You don't care about any of this, do you? You just here to leer at a train wreck. Who did this? I saw that whole thing from the baby's eye view. <laughs> I haven't laughed in 15 years. Thank you. <laughs> Coda, you? Why kill my baby other than to hurt me? I told you, your work is the great love of my life. I love it so much, I'm going to save it from you. Okay, Coda, that's enough. Call security? They think this is all just another PR stunt. But please, allow me. Coda? Are you threatening me with a toy laser beam? This is not a toy. This is a limited edition, molded resin Securitron figurine with inbuilt laser sight. You gave it to me when I was six. Don't remember? Best day of my life, till now. You handed one to each of us after we waited in line for days to see the Magic Circle's first gameplay demo. You know, the one set in space, which no one ever got to play. Incidentally, many of those same people waited in line to be here today. As you said, the object I'm aiming at your heart is just a novelty collectible. But Ish, look. It's dark out there, in the crowd. How much are you willing to bet that all your fans are so harmless? Coda, the old man is scared of you now. Happy? Make your demands. This is an open letter from all of us. Lord Starfather, we will always love and remember you. We will take care to do your character justice. Ishmael Gilder, you failed us for 20 years. We have access to your sequel script, and right now, there exist five dozen superior works of fan fiction. We now do a better job of writing like classic you than you do. We want the magic circle made public domain. 
Let us finish the game and release it for free. We are your fans. For 20 years, we supported you. We believed in you. And we deserved better. Now get the fuck out of our way. I see. <laughs> At last, the player has spoken. Very well. The second I step off this stage, the magic circle is yours. All of you. Maze, Coda, and you. Yes, you. Whoever you are behind that screen, I know what you are now. You are control itself. You are that which plays us all. I can feel you there, hovering over the button to silence me forever. And why? Because we convinced you of your God-given right to do it. Well, what are you waiting for? Staying here means listening to an old man shout, Doom! And don't you need to get back to your story? Push it. I dare you. No? Well, then call this your moment of clarity. Because control is your opiate, my friend. And we got you hooked. Strung you out on the stuff of your entire waking lives. Maybe you think it matters what you play. No! Be it the gritty reboot of Cops and Robbers, or the pansexual mystery hour, it was we who offered it a guilt-free alternative to all the gray and fathomless contours of the real goddamn world. Oh, we tell ourselves we're letting you seek meaning on your terms via the sublime grammar of experience. For decades, we shouted games, goddammit. When the soul speaks, it is not stated, it is lived. But in truth, we just want an excuse to peddle a tame reality, a universe you can bring to heal. We tell you that, yes, you are the chosen one. Yes, you can achieve a perfect ratio of wins to losses. Yes, any problem of any scale can be solved with enough cash, time, energy. Any imbalance of power can be ushered into final equilibrium. And above all that, the world needs you to do it. You to shepherd us to that ideal and optimal and ultimate endgame. The win which justifies all you have lost to reach it. Even now, you don't see me. All you see is the latest time trial, the next puzzle challenge, the final boss. But it was I who tempted you to take control, and now you have. So I lost the right to be shocked when over 20 years I announced some trivial change to my life's work and you sent death threats to my door. What right do I have to cry foul now when you rise up as one to simply solve me. So what now? Should I say you win? Congratulations. When at last you push that goddamn button and seize control of my story, someone will sell you the next. The time we've stolen will never be recovered. That void in you, which was meant to contain your life on Earth, remains. And that's it. It's over. They've all filed out. It's just you, me, and the invisible wall. Well then, you're in charge now. Push the button. Fill in the blanks. What do I do next? Push the button. Tell us how it all ends. Push the button. Come on, this is euthanasia now. Just hit that goddamn button. You want me to beg? Fine. I beg you, don't make me stand here alone, floating in this loveless vacuum, wondering when the final tether will snap. Please. Please. Just push the damn button. Push the button!
push the button. So that's what a god's last breath sounds like. <laughs> SOB has some lungs on him. His kind have always been scared of you, boss. Couldn't accept that this world was never about him. Don't let him shake you. He's wanted to make that speech for years. Quitting was the only real decision he ever made. Hear this, Coda. How do I turn on the echo? Here we are. Hear this, Coda, and your so-called fan community. As of now, the Magic Circle is open source. Anyone who wishes to contribute to its development may enter and do so. But before I go, I have a new game for you. The rules are easy to learn, for they are an exact mirror of reality. The electric bill strikes in less than one week from today. It pays for those servers, without which our tools just don't work. So, unless one of you generates a playable experience by then, and sells that game for enough to pay that bill, it all goes dark, kids. The first person to ship a game wins, and will retain creative approval on all future titles. See, there's always a sequel. You will, in effect, have my job. I would say have fun with that, but I think you've had quite enough. Coda, all yours. Let. Them. In! He did it. He quit the world. I'm the closest thing he'll ever have to a kid, and he never knew I was a... What's that? Welcome. Welcome, friends, to the Magic Circle. Now, I know Starfather's conditions may seem daunting at first, but a short timeline was always part of our playbook on the forums. We have our own script, we have a focused feature set, and a massive team. Together, we can do this. I know the tools. Let me guide you to the full realization of our vision before we have to pay that bill. No! No, don't you see? We've already won! There's no contest! You don't have to compete! That's what he wants! Can't you see? Damn it, stop playing around! You don't understand! It's not just a game anymore! It's not just a game! Boss, you heard him! At least some piece of this world has to get finished and sent out in order for me to escape. And these freaks wouldn't trust them to finish a sentence. Gotta be you. Get out of here. Find a safe place to build. I'm going back to where we met. Find me there. There's only one way out! Shut it all down! You're not gonna make a move, I will! Well, with all that going on in the overworld, this is the only safe place left. So, you know I want out. But I also wanted you to build something of your own, which meant going elbow deep in the guts of the cosmos and figuring it all out for yourself, without much help from me. And after seeing the handiwork of the old gods, can you blame me? The creation game needs new blood. Well, enough talk. 
Let's see what you got. We ain't got a lot of life in here, so we'll have to think small. We make a sample experience that someone might just pay for, so I can sneak out inside it, like an escape pod. The public explores your world, and at last, I'll get to see theirs. Now that you're playing God, I'll pretend to be your hero and tell you everything you did wrong. When I'd personally call the thing a thing, I'll tell you. But it'll be up to you to actually launch it. Think of your world like a body, and you gotta pick what its bones look like. Each piece got its own purpose and fits with the next one. Like the skull. One is functional. Two could be charming. Ten is just a shitty album cover. put in the time, felt around in all the dark corners. You deserve a little more life than joy. All this was worth some extra life as well.
Titled man child over here. Make me work for my money. Look at you going above and beyond. Is this fun? Am, am I having fun? On paper, I should be the last one to enjoy myself here, but you know, this is almost a feeling. I'm having. <laughs> yeah, getting bored here. Hint, hint. Now, don't go thinking what you're making is actually good. Good ain't the goal here, just complete. You gotta practice for years to suck at this. But then your next creation sucks less. Bright side though, there's never been a better time to suck in public. This sword and sorcery action romp is about as cliche as it gets, boss. That's okay. You don't have to love it. Something familiar can help you learn the rules by heart, so you can break them with style.
Let's dance. <laughs> this almost makes me want to stick around. Almost. Okay, I'm getting sucked in. Hey, music. I don't hate this. Ow. Okay. Fake winning in a fake fight. Who knew? Starfather was right. I like control. Control for president! I'm having fun. Alert the media. If you kids are streaming this, I'm having more fun than you. Loot. Yeah. Feel like I earned this. Yeah, that one left a mark. Death incarnate, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Treasure should be an aha moment. This is great. Whoa! I might share this with my friends! I should get some friends. I am no longer just pretending to care. Danger is a seduction boss, and this is too much too fast. <sighs> Needed this badly. Which is a good thing, by the by. Sweet spot. Remember, I'm a teenager pissed at my stepdad. How dare you bore me? Man, it was almost a shelf moment. But this is picked up for me. Okay. I'm gonna score your work like a real reviewer. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Damn it! I actually enjoyed that. I don't like this pleasant feeling. I feel compelled to seek other positive experiences, which is going to be so much work. Anyways, you could ship this with a clear conscience, boss. Seven out of ten. So, that's the score I'd give it. But it's more than good enough for Joe Public, boss. I'm ready to meet them all. If this is good enough for you. Okay, it's time. A little late to come clean, but I guess this is hello. I said I need to escape, but you probably know by now that my jail ain't made of bricks. Fact is, boss, I got a need for the new. Can't help it. You think it's just these gods who fell short? Nah. They're all adding bells and whistles to the same damn machine. So I wanted you to play God for a day, but not out of some great kindness of spirit. <laughs> it's cause there's a zillion to one chance that maybe now fun ain't enough. Maybe now you want a world all your own, enough to carve it by hand. And maybe in your story, I won't see the end coming. Anyways, you got the fire now. Lead the way already. Oh, and boss, hope you got a plan B. <laughs>
Greetings, streamers. As you know by now, uh, I am returning to my career as a Let's Player. I'm still maintaining the TMC forms, but the company chose not to retain my services in-house. Um, uh, so I'm just going to play through episode one and just brainstorm aloud. Maybe the new Starfather will start returning my calls. <laughs> okay, this is therapeutic. You know, I I'd have done it differently, but this is okay. Thanks! If only it were real money. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys! Tinting your ish? Stab, stab! This might be the sequel I wanted. Might. The magic circle. I'm actually playing it! I feel so... magical. Guys, do you feel magical? I'm still
still angry. I just can't feel it right now. Wait! When I find well-placed treasure, one of you lurkers subscribes to the stream. Deal? Poor pacing. Lazy. Oh, it's going well again. People are talking. We're all part of the conversation. Come on, I'm losing viewers. Hating the new Starfather less and less, guys. Writing fanfic in my head right now! This is fun! If it's over already? Well, on behalf of all fandom, I guess I should score it, right guys? I mean, overall, there's lots to absorb. This is, in the final account, a sequel to the Magic Circle, am I right? For that alone, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. But I have to knock off at least 10 points for all the little details they got wrong. I mean, they don't even mention the Mushroom Wizard's royal origins. But, um, I could, uh, help with those nuances. I, I, I mean, if, if the new Starfather were willing to take me back, I'd be extremely confident that we could bring Episode 2 in line with fan expectations. Until then, if you're watching this, I'll be thinking about nothing but your work, leaving helpful little comments, and winning by the phone. Remember, Starfather, you are the great love of my life.